welcome to my psycho diaries today we are starting a new series in the supportive pages dot net okay so this is the series which is which will help you to clear out the dot net so why are we doing this uh, there are few people ask me that they want to learn psycho so what is the basic requirement so as you know psycho is a dot net based cms so it is must to know basic concept of dot net okay so if you want to work as a developer psycho developer you should be knowing the basic of a dot net so this is the reason i am starting this uh, series in this series we will be discussing the basic concept of dot net so if you are working on the dot net then this series is also for you it will help you to clear out your dot net dot net concept so if you are new to the uh, channel uh, do subscribe to the channel in case you are not aware about what is site uh, what is site code that i will give the link in the video okay that will help you to understand the uh, what is site code and if you are a .net guy then site code can be another skill set which you can add in your resume and by the way and this is the uh, one of the niche scale in the uh, market so it will help you to grow your uh, career also so today we are starting the .net uh, series so first topic is going to be the mvc model view and controller so people starting let me introduce myself i am jitendra khanekar i am a psycho10.net certified developer uh, i have around 17 years of experience in the it industry so i am a psycho architect and consultant in uh, mumbai okay so let's start so let's see uh, what we are going to see in this video the preview of the video we will be seeing basic con mvc concept what is model what is view what is controller what is the responsibilities of each flow diagram of mvc features and benefits of mvc mvc framework project folder in visual studio so basically this is the introduction of the mvc we are not going in detail here okay in, in other video we will go in detail but for just for, just for this video we are limited to the introduction of the mvc okay so let's start MVC concept. So, what is MVC? MVC is one of the most frequently used industry standard web development framework to create scalable and extensible projects. Okay, so it is an industry standard web development framework. So, it is not just a concept which is related to .NET, but it is an overall web development framework okay which can be used to create a scalable and extensible project in any technology in java also you can use the mvc okay so what but what is mvc stand for so m stands for model views v stands for view and c stands for controller so model view controller okay so now we will see each thing okay so what happens in the mvc models manipulates the uh, the uh, the model okay so basically it executes the business logic and creates the data model model uh, the updated model is given to the view controller decide which law display logic need to be this uh, decide uh, the uh, present to the user so decide the ui and the view is uh, basically the display okay so it is a ui so model it's implement the logic for the application data model objects retrieves and stored model state in the database which is basically a uh, works with the data okay so date model is nothing but your data so this layer holds your data logic okay then view this is a user interface and it is uh, this this user interface is created from the model data so basically view is your user interface okay so it is created from the model the, the data from the data the view is getting created okay then this layer holds your display logic so view contains your display logic then controller controllers are the components that handle user interaction so whatever the user interaction is happening it is handled by the controller okay it is the heart of your mvc okay it is heart of your uh, mvc it, it handles the user interaction work with the model ultimately select the view to render the display user interface so basically it also decide what view you need to display to the user so this is the controller so controller are the component that handles user interaction work with the model 
and ultimately select the view to render that display user interface okay so basically if you want to remember what is mvc m model stand for data view stand for your display logic and c stand for your business logic or a con uh, controller okay so this layer holds your business logic controller helps holds your business logic so namespace uh, so so when you talk about business logic it is not a core business logic which it holds it okay so ideally your business logic you created a separate uh, dlls and from which it is you execute it so basically controller will execute it so when you see a normal uh, .NET uh, uh, project in the controller you uh, you will not see all the business logic it will be like it is calling some uh, dlls and getting the data okay so that that is happening in the controller so it is even though it is we are saying here business in the business logic it is not like you need to write the business logic in the controller okay the business layers are different then uh, the uh, uh, the namespace required okay system web dot mvc okay so for mvc you in dot net you will need a system web system dot web dot mvc namespace So let's see a flow diagram of MVC. So when you uh, browse any new MVC URL, it will be like this: where you have your domain and you have a, you will have a controller slash action. So when you browse this uh, URL, how does the uh, 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 the request flows? Okay. So uh, how does it flows from browser to controller to model to view to browse? again back to the browser? That we will see now. Okay, so when you when you browser sends a request, it passes to the controller. So it identifies which is the controller and it executes the that controller uh, action. Okay, so controller executes the business logic and forms a data model. So it creates a data model. Okay, so it it passes to the uh, controller and controller executes the uh, controller goes to the, their uh, controller action. The, the request goes to the controller action. Controller action get executed and that will kind of execute the business logic and the uh, it creates the model okay so this model is passed to the corresponding view okay so the model is created and that model is given to the view okay now view what does view create uh, does that view creates the html now which view to uh, execute that is also decided by the controller okay so controller does two things first it create the model okay and then that model key passes to the corresponding the appropriate uh, view okay and that view creates basically your html output and that html output is given back to the browser and that browser uh, displays the uh, html output so this is how it flows like in sp.net we have we have the page life cycle but here this is how we where the request goes here first we get the browser sends request to the controller controller execute the controller action and it create the mo model okay for the view and then decides which view needs to be displayed so this model is passed to the view and then view creates the html and that html is given back to the uh, browser so this is how the M uh, mvc uh, request flows let's see what are the features or a benefits of a mvc separation of concern so as we seen that there are three different folders like controllers uh, three sections like controller view and model okay and each has a separate responsibilities so that is a separation of a concern so you have an input display and business logic are separated from each other so uh, the three things are separate and uh, there is a separation of concern which will help you to uh, to to give this three uh, three tasks to the different different people okay so there is a separation of a concern here it makes it easier to manage complexity by dividing an application into the model view controller thus ideal for a developing complex but a lightweight application so it is an ideal way of dividing the huge application okay into the uh, the complex application because you are giving the three different things like your business logic might be the complex one so that will go to the separate thing your your uh, view display logic will be handled by someone else okay and uh, that is how it is it is manage complexity okay so that is another feature or a benefit of mvc provides an extensible and pluggable framework which can be easily replaced and customized example the customizable view engine so uh, basically it is a 
you can have extensible and pluggable framework like like we, uh, the views views can be different way different ways you can use it like you can use a razor views you can use a xfx view engine uh, you can have your ui framework also you can use it it is a, your own uh, engine also you can use it so this is a customizable and pluggable framework it allows you to create a several view component reducing the code duplication by separating data and business logic as we see in the, uh, the the business logic and data are separate okay so let me give an example like you have a one component where you are uh, you are displaying the news okay and that news uh, somewhere it is it is a vertical or somewhere it is a horizontal okay also the uh, maybe cta block you are displaying you have created a component for a cta block where the image is at the top and your uh, title and description in the download somewhere it is it is at the right side the image is right side and you have a uh, description and the title at the uh, left hand side so those kind of uh, uh, different uh, views uh, you can have okay in this case like the example of like a news i have given the news is the business logic is same so you can have or and the data is also same it's just that how you are going to display the, that data okay so in the uh, in the in the mvc you can have a multiple views but the, your model and the uh, the controller will remain same so that means you do not have to duplicate those things only the way uh, the data is getting displayed that can be separate out okay so so that will help you uh, to reduce the uh, uh, duplication of the code and also improve the uh, you will it will have a, a, a improving the your uh, timeline okay i mean the efforts will get reduced it does not use view state or server based forms this makes the mvc framework ideal for the developers who want a full control over the behavior of an application so it is not using the view state or a server based form like you have a sp.net it's give the more control to the developer it supports the use of dependency injection and inversion or uh, inversion of a control so both this uh, inversion of control container model so both those things we will we might discuss the uh, separately in another uh, uh, video but it support the both the thing that di also and the ioc also it is simple to create a seo friendly urls for a particular application to increase the traffic okay so it is very easy to create a seo friendly url you can define your seo friendly url the way your urls are structured that can be controlled and it can be seo friendly it support a test driven development uh, tdd you can unit test the application without having to run the controllers in the sp.net process which makes unit testing fast and flexible you can use any unit testing framework that is compatible with the dotnet framework so mvc is basically uh, helps to do the test driven development okay so here you can do the unit testing of each code okay so that will help you uh, in the uh, uh, unit testing you can use existing ASP.NET features with the ASP.NET MVC framework such as nested master bridges, inline expressions, declarative server controls, templates, data binding, localization and so on and also support the existing ASP.NET features. So <coughs> MVC uh, uh, does help use or uh, uh, support the whatever the ASP.NET features uh, are having okay we are having okay so that is a good uh, uh, what is it if you, you are migrating from any .NET uh, ASP.NET form uh, to the MVC it will help you to uh, use the whatever functionality or whatever features which is used in ASP.NET uh, that you can use in the MVC framework so that is a good feature so uh, MVC has data return to the view is not formatted in any way by an mvc framework which is allows developer to use whatever technology they want to represent that data as we have seen uh, the controller creates the uh, execute the business logic and update the model and that model is passed to the view and view decides what how to do display what does it this tells you that that view can be customized okay you can use your ui framework okay also so the different technology we can use it so that is this is the uh, this is the advantage of the mvc overall it helps in faster development and project so overall if you see all the features which you are seeing so it is helping you to uh, do the development faster so these are the features and benefits of the mvc
let's see a uh, mvc project structure in vs so when you create an mvc folder how does it looks like okay so when you create an mvc application okay you will see this kind of a folder structure where you will have a app start folder you have a content folder you have a controllers folder you have a font folder uh, you have a model folder script views okay so it is uh, very clear what is contained uh, store the content like assets okay fonts will store a font scripts will store store the scripts okay uh, so let's see few of the uh, folders okay first is a controller okay uh, so the controller this folder will contains all the controller classes so whatever the controller classes which you are creating that will be uh, uh, will be stored in this uh, controllers folder okay mvc requires the name of the controller files to enter with the uh, controller so if you want to create any controller you have let's say you have to create a home controller so the class of the name will be home controller okay model this folder will contain all the model classes the so model models folder will contain all the models folder so that is basically your data structure okay uh, data model which will be stored in the models so this folder will contain all the models classes which are used to work on the application data views this folder stores the html files related to application display and user interface it contains one folder for each controller so basically view in view it is your display so it can be a html files you can be a razor files or you can have see html files okay so that will be hold in the uh, it will be stored in the view folders and uh, the, uh, the 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 way it is created like you will have a controller folder so say home is your uh, controller and you are creating a view then you will have a home folder inside that you will be adding their uh, corresponding view then app underscore start so this folder contains the file which are needed during the application work so whatever the file which are required to load the application uh, uh, that will that will be stored uh, stored in the application start so we are done for today uh, if you have any question you can connect to my gmail id you can also uh, uh, connect to me on uh, linkedin if you like the video please click on the like button uh, please share it with your friends please do comment and provide your feedback if you are new to, new to the channel please subscribe to the channel please click on a bell icon to get a latest update okay thank you thanks for watching